Republicans have struggled on the issue of abortion since the overturning of Roe v. Wade, and new reporting shows the Trump team recognizes the potential electoral peril they face. Sources tell NBC News that Trump allies are getting involved in the process around the Republican Party's national platform, which has been unchanged since 2016 to prevent a rightward push on issues like abortion. Now it comes as states look to take the issue directly to voters, including in Arizona, where a constitutional amendment would essentially restore access to what it used to be under Roe looks likely to appear on November's ballot. Our decider's focus group of Arizona voters was largely supportive of the amendment, with 8 of 12 saying they would vote for it. Here's a little bit more of what they had to say. I mean, I believe a woman has a right to choose. It may not be my personal belief. I wouldn't do, I wouldn't have an abortion, but I, I'm not gonna take someone else's right away from them. So, Nicole and Ruben, you would vote no on the constitutional amendment. Do I have that right? Probably, but I mean, I, I would agree with previous uh, panelists that said it, it under special circumstances, but I really I'm uh, against the uh, abortion. I'm on the fence because, um... I understand that the fetus is not viable um, prior to that, but I also see the what my religion teaches about that. Mm -hmm. um, I also don't, I think, I feel like, as I said earlier, that um, the biggest uh, consequence we see is having our rights taken from us, and that's a huge right for women. Um, so I think once we given to one, it can easily be anything else. One of the big X factors in this election, joining me now with more on his fantastic reporting is NBC's Matt Dixon. Matt, thanks so much for joining me. So take me inside your reporting. What are your sources telling you? Why now? Why is the Trump team engaging directly? They didn't try to change the platform in 2020 on this issue. Sure. Well, there's a couple of things. There's timeline and then there's sort of rationale. So the timeline, what, what the RNC, the Republican National Committee said at the time in 2020, was that there were some complications over holding a, a large meeting of the platform committee. And that's the committee that makes these decisions during the height of the pandemic in 2020. So that was their rationale then for not changing the policy platform of the National Republican Party. It was the first time in over 150 years that the platform hadn't been tweaked in a presidential election cycle. So that was the rationale for not addressing any of this stuff in 2020. Let's set that aside. Now the same sort of policy fights over sort of culture war infused issues over same sex marriage over abortion. Those are some of the issues that weren't dealt with in 2020 that are now being dealt with in 2024. And I think that the Trump campaign getting involved, the what our sources are telling us is the idea that they don't want this nasty sort of headline grabbing political fight over pushing the platform too far to the right. And they're trying to make sure that there's a, a, you know, sort of a moderating factor or a mainstream factor going into the general election. And we've heard former President Trump talk about the potential political pitfalls of the issue of abortion. But given that this has been a part of the party's platform for so long, logistically speaking, how would this work and, and how much pushback is there? There is a little bit of pushback. Uh, among the, the people we talk to in Republican Party circles, there are some social conservatives, those who have been members of the RNC for a very long time. There, there was a, a specific person who said, how are we going to get rid of decades of life language? And life language was the idea of, of sort of the traditional definition of marriage, sort of anti-abortion, that sort of stuff. So there is generally some some slight pushback. But if I were to sort of game this out, it's it's President Trump and his team that are kind of getting into these very, very obscure and grassroots sort of races that are, are often getting very much attention. So more than likely, if you're a candidate who has President Trump or his team's support to try to get on this platform committee, you're probably going to win. So there's a conversation going on, but I wouldn't necessarily characterize it as an, a civil war or, or anything of, of tension that rises too high because probably Trump's going to get his way as, as he generally does it in the party. Well, it's a great point. And just very quickly, Matt, I mean, when you think about the platform versus what Republicans are actually saying and believing, I mean, they're delving into something that is long held orthodoxy for so many conservative voters. The, the platform will be one thing, but won't necessarily change hearts and minds, right? 
No, I, I think that's exactly right. I, I think in 2020, the platform wasn't changed. And I think very few sort of on the ground grassroots folks noticed. Um, there was probably some angst in, you know, among those who are very involved professionally with the party. But by and large, this is sort of an administrative fight. But that being said, this is the, the platform, the policy platform that the National Republican Party wants to project. So it shouldn't be totally overlooked, but to some extent, I think you're right. The, 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 the general idea that this has been orthodoxy for decades for the party is kind of well set. I do think there is a, 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 an attempt to sort of change that or at least a road around the edges, and that won't necessarily resonate with, with sort of social conservative Republicans. But I, I do mm -hmm. think this is a, a nod at, a, you know, try to go to a broader electorate. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.